It was a very painful war. Uh, in 1999, one million people were deported from their homes. Thousands, 20,000 of women were raped. And rape uh, is probably one of the most terrible crimes one can commit. It's, it's a tool of war. And it's through rape, uh, Serbia tried to maintain uh, the constant state of uncertainty and conflict in Kosovo, trying to harm and destroy our, the fabric of our society, the families. For 17 years, those women lived with, with shame, with stigma. It was not a matter of public debate, public discourse. Then only 15 years after the war, women organizations organized a march on the 8th of March, actually, Women's Day. And they had a very strong uh, slogan. They said, we don't want flowers, we want justice. Justice for women that were sexually abused, that were raped during the war. And it was a call of awakening for, for all of us, for all the women that were in the public service. And together, uh, we tried to address uh, the issue both institutionally and legally by trying to provide legal aid and financial support for women that were sexually abused. But more importantly, to, to make them, again, part of our society. They were, leave, although they were living with us, they had a big pain and big shame. They were feeling stigmatized. They wouldn't talk to anyone about what happened to them. So I think President Yahyaga, with her own personal active role, helped a lot to remove the stigma. Uh, she mobilized uh, the political um, uh, uh, groups, uh, artists, um, uh, religious leaders, uh, NGOs, to talk more about this issue. And I think she, she played a very important role in, in removing the stigma and uh, giving voice to, to those women. I'm very proud of the role she played.